Now, being fit, getting more healthy, these are all common New Year's resolutions. Now, in the current climate where it may not be possible for you to go outside or it may be difficult for you to get to the gym, how does a great, small, ultra portable treadmill sound? Sounds pretty good, right? So this is the Big Zia fully motorized treadmill from a company called Home Fitness Code. Now, as you can see, this is very compact, very, very easy to transport, but I'll say probably the biggest feature or the best feature for me is just the fact that it comes fully pre-assembled. So you don't need to waste any time assembling it, putting the parts together, just more or less take out the box, add some lubrication oil, which is included, tighten up the belt if you need to, and within five minutes, you could be standing on this, going for a brisk walk or even a light jog. Now this has a maximum speed of 10 kilometers per hour. It also has shock and noise reduction, and you also get that LCD screen with all of the stats that you may need. Now, because our speed varies from one to 10 kilometers per hour, it does mean that this treadmill is suitable for the beginner or even intermediate levels. Now this is actually advertised as an office or under the desk piece of equipment. And as you can just see guys, it is very, very flat. It's only about 23 kg. So you can easily fit this under your desk, potentially under a sofa or under a bed. It really is a compact piece of equipment. And again, because of that varying speed levels, if you are a beginner or intermediate, or even just somebody recovering from an injury, the speed really is more than adequate. Now talking about the specifications, so the unit weighs 23 kilograms, the length of the entire unit is 122 centimeters and it's only 49 centimeters wide. Now in terms of the actual running area, it's 102 centimeters long and 39 centimeters wide. So it really is very, very compact. Now here we can see the supplied remote control. So it's fairly small in size. So it has buttons for uh, play and pause, which is to obviously start and stop the uh, treadmill. You can also increase and decrease the speed. I also go through the various uh, programs. For example, you could say, I want to go for a 30 minute run, or you can say that this is my calorie target, or I want to run for this distance. So all of that control you can do directly from that remote control. Now the treadmill can hold up to a maximum of 110 kg. Now this is powered by a sturdy 1.5 horsepower motor. So combining that with the steel frame, you do get a fairly quiet running experience. I wouldn't say it's totally silent as you can probably hear in the background, but compared to a much larger treadmill, it's not too noisy at all. Now, as I mentioned at the start of this video, probably the only thing you need to do when you get this treadmill out of the box is to slightly tighten that belt. And here we can just see the holes for that. And you do get an Allen key in the box. Now, what else do we get in the box? Here we can see that we also get this small instruction manual, a small pamphlet. Here is the supplied lubricant. And they do recommend that you lubricate the belt maybe once a month, depending on how frequently you're using the treadmill. Now, one of the key thing to mention about this treadmill is that it does come with a five layer shock absorbing design. Now, because of that design, it does support extra cushioning for your joints and bones. So if you do have a pre-existing issue or joint issues, then it's the kind of shock absorbing system you should be looking for in a treadmill. Here we can just see the one and only button on the entire treadmill, which is the power switch. So here we can just see, I'm just turning it off. Now the thickness of the unit, as you can just see here, is only 14 centimeters. So it does come with a slight adjustment. So if you have uneven floors, you can balance this out with this. Here we can just see the wheels at the front, which will allow for that easy transport. But having the thickness is just 14 centimeters really makes the storage, the moving, or just the portability a great feature of this treadmill. So let me now do an actual demonstration of me on this treadmill and see exactly what it performs like. So as we can see, as soon as I press the play, it does a quick countdown, three, two, one, and it starts. And the default speed was one kilometer per hour, which I've now just increased to three. So three, I would say is like a, a fairly okay speed in terms of walking. So that's a nice sort of pleasant walk you could do, maybe having a walk in the park or just a, a normal walk. Let's now pump that up to 4.5. So this you could say is like a, a very brisk walk or maybe a, a very slow jog. But again, depending on your fitness, depending on your age, depending on your weight, will all determine what kind of speed you're you know most comfortable with. But here we can see I'm now pumping this up to six. 
and I'm actually now jogging on this. Uh, time to speed up, I think. So let's go from six to 7.5. This is definitely getting serious now. <laughs> But just having the comfort of you know doing this in your house it doesn't matter if it's you know raining outside if you can't get to the gym having something like this so you can just wheel out jump on do a quick 20 minute run really will help your fitness all right this is eight and a half maybe time to call the doctor <laughs> medical doctor i think but you can see in terms of how sturdy it is it's not overly noisy nine. okay that's nine now nine and a half so this is now me running at top speed on this treadmill from home fitness code and we can see guys it's uh it's performing really nicely Oof. okay so wrapping this up i would say on the positives this treadmill is ultra portable very easy to store away you get that variable speed from 1 to 10 kilometers per hour so it is suitable for beginner and intermediate runners you have the nice lcd screen showing you all of the essential stats it's fairly quiet it has that cushioning but number one benefit it requires no installation i'll say probably the two main negatives are the fact that it does require that remote control so if for whatever reason you lose that remote control there's no way for you to actually start the treadmill and the other negative is if you are a more of an advanced runner then you'll probably find the 10 kilometer speed a little bit too slow but overall guys especially when you factor in the price i do think this is a fantastic treadmill and especially in the current climate where maybe going out or having access to the gym is not as easy as normal just having this device in your house it really will help with your fitness so that's all for this video guys and just a quick disclaimer that no kittens were harmed in making this video those two just keep on jumping on everything i'm looking at so once again guys really appreciate your support i will leave all of the links in the video description and the pinned comment if you want to check this treadmill out do leave me a comment below let me know what you think and i'll hopefully catch up with you guys real soon thanks